morning, everybody, and welcome to Great Day Houston. Thank you very much. We are starting off today with a little Gulf Coast Soul. And when you say Gulf Coast Soul, there's only one band who can pull that off. They're called The Suffers. Cam Franklin is the lead singer for the group. This week is a very special week for you because... Tell yes. folks what's going to happen. Our album comes out this Friday, 713, everything here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now here's the cool part. You all have not even seen the final cover, have you? We hadn't. We had seen the photo, but we hadn't seen the actual finished product of the vinyl, so we're really excited to see this And right here now. it is, right here. Let, me, let the band yes. see it. There you go, all right? We're going to take the, the blue, the <laughs> blue vinyl out. Yeah. Take the blue. This is very cool. Yes, this is our first time doing colored vinyl. Wow. So we're really excited. And Cam, explain to, because there, <laughs> there, now our, some of our audience members are like, yes, vinyl, right? <laughs> okay. I, I know that there are probably some young people at home yes. who probably don't understand what this thing possibly is. Yes. Explain that to them, Cam. Yes, so this is a vinyl record, and <laughs> each side contains six to seven songs. And this is a 12-inch uh, a vinyl, yeah. uh, but they can come in different sizes. And but, then you have to get yeah. this thing called a record player to, to do it. But yes. otherwise, you can download <laughs> songs in a whole bit. Uh, this is really cool. So when it comes to, to putting something like this together, I think a lot of us underestimate, you know, it's all done and we listen to the finished product. What it takes to get there. This is not a quick process, uh, is it? It's not a quick process. This had to be turned in and submitted, I think, almost four months ago and we just got the rest of them, I believe, today. Uh, it, it takes a long time. Uh, we spent about two years recording the music for that, or working on the music for that, and uh, we finished recording it last December. Yeah. And you wrote and these songs, yes, right? So yes. how's that, is it a collaborative process? It's or? a collaborative process. We got some help from some uh, friends of ours, John Allen Stevens, Zeke Listenby, Andrew James, and uh, we have uh, cameos from Bun B, Paul Wall, Lyle Dubinsky, and it's, <laughs> yeah, and so we're just, we're just so elated to have this album done and to uh, have gotten it completed on time because of the hurricane and everything. We weren't sure that we were going to get it yeah. completed, but everything just kind of worked out and we're really, really excited to share it with everybody. When you say Gulf Coast Soul, yes. It's almost like when I listen to your music, it, it's Gulf Coast Soul and that it's a gumbo of all types of music in definitely, a way, right? Definitely, definitely. That's the perfect way to describe it. And uh, I feel as though our music is a true reflection of the city of Houston. Yeah. You guys have such a great story. Uh, you were all kind of working your jobs, your day jobs, if yes, you will. I can see my old yeah. building. Yeah. Right, right over there. Right. Allen Center. You can't have her back. You can't <laughs> have her back. Okay. But you were, you know, working your jobs. And so many people have a passion and they're so afraid to kind of step off the curb and really live out that passion. But you all, and and when I say they had jobs, they had some good jobs, okay, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, oil and gas, yes. all types of things, yes. banking. And then what was it that finally made you all decide that collectively? Because you had to do it together. Yes. Um, so it was a multitude of things, but the top two things that did it was we had gotten an offer to sign with a booking agency called New Frontier Touring, who we're still with. And they pitched the idea of us touring around the country if we were going to take this music thing seriously and we were debating about it but eventually came to this decision of well if we don't try this you know we there's no guarantee you don't live any regrets. exactly yeah. you know and the worst case scenario is that you know we do you go this back to for, your job. exactly <laughs> so we go back to our job go back to our old life uh, and a few months after we had made the decision to try this out we got the opportunity to go and play one of the last shows on David Letterman mm -hmm. and we've been <laughs> And yeah, we've been going full yeah. steam ever since. Another lesson to learn out there is that so many times what will shut people down is when they get, you can get a thousand great comments and get that one where somebody doesn't like your sound or something. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you, you had some in the beginning some of your critics, but the, the key thing about this is that you were defining your own sound. Yes. Yes. And it, it's one of those things that took us a long time to find our confidence and to to get to this place where, you know, when maybe one of us had read a comment, mm -hmm. there would be another one that would be like, you know, ah, forget them or whatever. Yeah. Insert expletive. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but I think what, what happens when you have confidence in what you do, obviously, yes. is that um, people start to own that just like you own it. And it's like, okay, you, you, start, you don't think about that. You Definitely. are your own sound. There's a whole lot out there for people to enjoy. So uh, you do your own thing. So you ignored that. Uh, you performed at uh, a game for every major Houston sports team. You all have traveled. <laughs> traveled around the world 
Um, almost every continent, I would imagine Antarctica probably didn't have a big crowd. Not yet. Yeah, didn't do that one yet. <laughs> but didn't, don't mean you can't do it. But the penguins. Yeah, we yeah. want to perform for the penguins. Oh, I forgot. Okay, <laughs> let me clarify something because I said yesterday, I said, oh, I'm so excited because the sufferers are going to be you know, on the show in the morning. And my friend goes, you mean the sufferers. I go, no, I, I said I said suffers, and she's like, you mean the sufferers? Oh, okay, God. so the, in the beginning it kind of went back and forth. So we were the sufferers when we first started, and we are very aware that sufferers is the grammatically correct way to say it, but it's not fun to say, and so we cut it off to be the sufferers. And it, it's easier for us to say. I think it's easier to remember. Yeah. It's less words to put on a vinyl. You know, it, it, where did the, the group name come from? And how did y'all come to that, that conclusion? So uh, the group name is a reference to an old, uh, well, not old, but it's a movie from the 70s. You make a movie called Rockers. And in that movie, the sufferers are the artists that are basically out here performing and not getting rewarded for it, while everybody else around them profits off of it. So they say, I and I a sufferer because they don't get right the reward that comes with making the art. But when you do this long enough, just to be able to do this, you start to realize that being able to do this is, is the part payoff. of the reward. Yes. Yeah, and you know what, with that said, we get lots of folks who come to us all the time and say, hey, can we be on the show? Or hey, do you know somebody you can connect me to? And so your advice to, because Houston has so much great talent out there, and a lot of times that talent feels like they have to leave the city, but your yes. advice to somebody who really does love music or love the art form that they that they, they that they you know prescribe to and, and so to keep on going and it yes. doesn't have to be about the paycheck at that definitely moment. i mean you know yeah, paycheck is good yes exactly but, yeah. eventually you're going to have to profit in some kind of way yeah. to do this and definitely all, every single person in this band and then our team can attest to that but for somebody that wants to do this full time you have to keep going you have to keep working when someone tells you no you can't look at that as a defeat you have to yeah. look at it as okay well they didn't open this door let me go knock on the next door yeah and as far as artists that are working in houston houston's a big city and yes you know it's easy to go to a new york or an la or a nashville to find you know other artists that are doing what you're doing but there are so many that are here yeah. that are like-minded that have the resources but it's a little harder to find them but if you take the time to be patient and work to find those people that will work with you if you're willing to put that equal amount of work in. Yeah. I keep saying work, 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 yeah, work, work. Yeah, but it is. But it, it is. is. It's yeah, work. Yeah. Uh, I think that the eventual payoff is so much stronger. For yeah. us, we have this almost army of friends and family and team members. And you that, don't forget home. You exactly. go off on tour, but you don't forget home. But I, I like to use the word work because so many people look at the back end of where somebody is. We look at where they are, but not what it takes to get there. Oh, yeah. And they think it's all fun and games, right? Yeah. And, but, but it takes work to get there. All right. You can see the suffers Thursday and Friday night at the Heights Theater, Thursday with the Tauntauns, and Friday with the Black Pumas. Okay, but before uh, we get to that, your new album is Everything Here. What does that mean? So everything here is about all of the relationships that make up your life, be it romantic, platonic, your working relationships, and how they affect you. Yeah. So when you listen to the songs on this album, you're gonna hear things about boundaries and not being afraid to set them for yourself. Yeah. Songs about, you know, embracing being petty to people that don't respect you. Songs about, you know, grief and yeah. love and loss. But how this song is that you're going to do first right now is Do Whatever. Do Whatever. And do that, Whatever is yeah. about taking the time to live your life the way that you want to. Yeah. Because a lot of us get caught up in these nine to fives and we feel like, okay, after five o'clock I can start having fun. All right, well, um, when my two week vacation comes, I'll have some fun. <laughs> and, you know, I used to stare out that window at Allen Center every day and just think, like, okay, one day I'm going to do this. And I wouldn't. I would work months at a time and then take two weeks off go and just yeah. basically party with my friends for three yeah. days. And the and very minute you step back into exactly. the work, into the office, you're like, did I really have a vacation? Nope. <laughs> right? Nope. Exactly. And so this song is about embracing every single day for what it is and finding joy in your day, be it by going outside during work and taking a walk, yeah. calling your friend that you've been meaning to call, but you've only been texting the past few months, but right. whatever it is that brings you joy. Do whatever. Yeah. All right. The suffers, everybody. <laughs> I'm 
so let me shine. It ain't gotta be a weekend to find that joy that you're seeking. So treat yourself to something more and you'll be fine. Do whatever feels right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do whatever feels right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do whatever feels right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do whatever feels right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're anything like me, you are not good at relaxing and taking time to yourself. It's like a chore. banking before or something I like that? I did. I worked as a <laughs> gas and power contract analyst. Okay, this investment is not an investment bank. banking outfit. This so you is had to quit. Not. <laughs> right, so you can have fun, <laughs> be who you are. Okay, again, you can see the suffers uh, this uh, Thursday and Friday night at the Heights Theater and Thursday with the Tauntauns and Friday with the Black Pumas. Thank yes. you very much. You're going to stick with us Thank so you can you. kiss things off for us today. Yes.